Hello everyone and welcome to Informatica support videos. My name is Jyoti and today we'll cover an overview of rule specification asset in CDQ. The agenda is to understand what is rule specification asset and how it can be configured in cloud data quality. A rule specification is an asset that represents the data requirement of a business rule in logical form. A rule specification breaks down the logic in a business rule into following task. It defines the type of data that a business data set contains. Defines a set of conditions that a business data must satisfy. Defines the action to be taken when the data satisfy the condition of a business rule. And similarly, defines the action to be taken when the data fails to satisfy the condition of a business rule. The output of a rule specification indicates whether the raw data meets the requirement that you have set in the business rule or not. A rule specification can be configured in two modes, basic and advanced mode. We'll cover these two in the demo part. Now we'll move on to the demo part. To create rule specification, come to the data quality, click on new, choose a the asset type as rule specification give any name to the rule specification if you want to add the description you can add here choose a dimension come to the configuration part here under the input fields, you can specify n number of input fields as per your requirement. I'll change the name of the field as name. I'm creating a basic uh, rule specification. Come to the rule logic. I have given a condition as name is not null, then the status is valid. Otherwise, the status would be invalid. I'll save the rule specification. Come to the test part. Specify some values here just to test. I'm giving null in the row number two and I'm specifying value in the row number three. Choose a runtime environment and run the test. So since we have a specified value in the row number 1 and 3, we are seeing the output of the rule specification as valid. Whereas in the row number 2, there is no value specified and hence the output is coming as invalid. You can convert the same basic rule specification into advanced. For that, click on convert to advanced button. Change the name of the rule specification. Coming to the configuration part, if you see the same logic is being converted into the if else statement, which says if name does not equal to null, then the output of the rule spec specification, which is primary rule set, is valid. Else, the primary rule set would be marked as invalid. In order to test the rule specification, choose a runtime environment, specify the input fields here and run the test. So if you see here, since the out input is given in the row number 1 and 3, the output is valid and for the second row, the output is invalid. If you want to create an advanced rule specification from the scratch, you can create a new rule specification. specify a name here convert to advanced choose here convert to advanced and under the configuration write the logic in if else form 
The rule specification that we create in CDQ can further be used in mappings in data integration and profiles. Kindly refer the below document for more information about rule specification asset. We would love to hear from you. Thank you.